All right. Is everyone here? Are we, are we waiting for a few stragglers? Or everyone's here. Everyone's here. Okay. Awesome. Does everyone sign the release form? Or are we still waiting on that? Okay. Let's give everyone a chance to do that then. <laughs> Oh, we just broadcast to YouTube. The screen's mostly just going to be on me, just so people can follow along at home. We do it like, especially for special events, like if they have a big birthday party or a wedding type of thing, then people who couldn't make it can still watch and participate. We also do it just so people can learn how to paint on YouTube. <laughs> mm -hmm. Put that there. Let's see, any last minute things? that we need. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, over here, over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we can do that now. Everyone go ahead and turn your canvas horizontally. Horizontally. I'll just go around and do the other one too so no one gets confused. <laughs> it's happened before. <laughs> we start painting and then someone, their composition is completely different. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take you step by step. We'll tell you how to mix the colors, what shapes to use, how big those shapes will be. Everyone's will turn out a little bit different, but they're all going to be a unifying theme. They're all going to be a space turtle with lots of coral and pretty colors. We sure do. <laughs> we go at the speed of 80% of the class. If you're super slow, I'll have to like come in and help you catch up, but. Sure. <laughs> sea turtle slow. They're actually quite fast in the water though. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, thank you so much. Right. Is everyone ready? Ready to get started? Yay. All right, I'd like to welcome everyone to Paint and Lung Studios here at uh, LKLD TV. Um, we're gonna be painting our wonderful sea turtle today. My name is Jessica, I'll take you step by step. We'll mix the colors together. You can. See on the big screen, everything up close. If I do a small detail, you can also look over here where I'm actually standing. But honestly, to tell you, it's a lot easier on the big screen. <laughs> People have been noticing. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's take the lid off of our paint plate. See, now we reveal our lovely colors that we're gonna be using. Um, today, I'm, I'm gonna say a few things that are just for our YouTube watchers. So I'm gonna like explain what colors we're using and everything like that. Um, so today we're using white, we're using Mars black, we're using chrome yellow, we're using burnt sienna brown, we're using phthalo green, phthalo blue, and we're using brilliant red. And those are all liquid acrylics. So we want to hold this, and we're going to use this as our palette. So we're going to be mixing our paints on this, and we're going to pick up our big white brush. Everyone find your big white brush. Excellent. Go ahead and pick up some white and bring it to the side of your canvas. Um, the side of your palette, I mean, sorry. <laughs> Just grab about two scoops of that. Okay, then you want to get a little dab of that blue 
put it in the center, and a little dab of that green, put it in the center. Start mixing it together, and then slowly bring the white into that. And we're gonna start working on this ocean water. So it's mostly blue, so I just have a little bit of green in there. Get a nice light ocean color. <laughs> Add more white. <laughs> That's why we got a lot of white and just a dab of those colors. And you get it nice and light, just like that. And we're gonna come right to our canvas and we're gonna cover the whole thing with that nice blue color. Yep, the whole thing. The nice thing about acrylics is that they dry really, really fast. So we can layer on top of each other without mixing the colors. A few tips, just like when you're holding a pencil, you have the most control, the closer you're holding the pencil to the lead. So the closer your fingers are to the lead, that's the most control you have. Same thing with the brush. The closer your fingers are to those bristles, the more control you'll have. And get the whole surface in just any direction strokes. And go forward, back, up, down. Want to be all different directions. <laughs> Might have to mix a little bit more of that color if you run out. Don't worry too much if it's just a slightly different color. Just kind of rub it into the edges of the other color. The ocean is all different types of colors anyways. It's never one consistent color blue. It's a little darker, a little lighter in some areas. So just worry about getting the whole canvas covered. Tired already. <laughs> to kind of save some of your energy, instead of using your whole arm to do the stroke, Use your wrist, so use some wrist action. See how I'm going up, down with my wrist? Up, down, over, sideways, use that wrist action. Just get the whole canvas covered. <laughs> we, do we have a bigger brush? <laughs> you want to brush the size of the canvas? Will that make it easier? One stroke, all done. <laughs> special request, special request. <laughs> Get the whole front of that canvas covered. <laughs> if you run out of a color, there's some more colors right up here. And keep your brush nice and loaded. Lots of paint in that brush. It's a big, tough brush. It likes to hold a lot of paint. If you're like, oh, my strokes, they keep on drying out, and you need more paint in your brush. Fill up all the white spaces. Hello. Are you here to paint? <laughs> Let me get you some paints ready. Didn't know how many we were expecting, so. <laughs> hmm? Oh, yeah, just because uh, right there, it's on the table. Just because we post them to YouTube, just so people can follow along at home if they won't, can't make it and they want to come paint. The camera will mostly be on me, but you could get caught in a little shot or something.
<laughs> it's all right. There's all different types of oceans. Some are more green, some are more blue. Some are darker, some are lighter. Get you started. I don't like this one. I'll give you this one instead. Okay, what we're doing right now is just covering the whole background. So we did that by scooping up a bunch of white. Let me just get you started here. White and blue? Yep, and then we got some blue and a little bit of green. We mixed it together in the middle and then we slowly brought the white into that just to make a nice light ocean blue. <laughs> oh! <laughs> A little bit of red in your ocean. Is it the Red Sea near Red Egypt? Tide. <laughs> Red tide? Ah. <laughs> I see, I see. When you come to the canvas, you just want to get all over I'll the place, that. all different directions. You want to oh use your yeah. wrist action. So you don't okay. use your whole arm or else you get really tired. But keep that brush nice and loaded. Lots of paint. You can mix some more of that color. It's okay if it doesn't turn out exactly the same. Because the ocean has all different types of colors in it. Just want to round about the same color. Okay. Once you got the front part of your canvas mostly covered, I want you to leave it alone because it needs a few minutes to dry. So hurry up and get them filled in, then leave it alone. And I'm going to show you an example of a different painting because I don't want to take mine off because then we'll have to adjust with the cameras again and everything like that. But we want to come to the side. See how we painted the side of this one and the top and also the bottom? So we want to go ahead and do that with this canvas. So we want to lift it up, paint the bottom, paint the top, paint the sides. So the physical canvas, we want to paint those sides and the top. So if you've got your front done, leave it alone. Give it a few minutes to dry and everything like that. If we keep on touching it and touching it, it'll never dry, and then we can't put our turtle on there. Just get the whole thing covered, and then get the sides and the top and the bottom. The reason we do the sides and the top and the bottom is so you can hang it on your wall and you don't need a frame for it. It still will look good without a frame. <laughs> a couple of you are laughing. You're like, I'm not putting this on my wall. <laughs> You'll do great. <laughs> just like when you're holding a pencil. The closer you hold to the bristles, just like when you hold it closer to the lead, the more control you'll have. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, once you got your front, leave it alone. It's just the watercolor. Don't worry about it too much. We're going to give more detail to our coral and our sea turtle. So leave it alone. If you've got your sides and your top, and remember to get the bottom, and go ahead and stick your brush in the water. We don't want to touch it right now. We want, don't want to be tempted to bring it up again. I'm going to give it time to dry. Yep. Mm, how am I going to do that? <laughs> I'm going to do that. Gonna Let's turn to the, the side. Oh, okay. Well, that's why we have them black, because every you know, okay. month or so, we just paint them black again. <laughs> No worries. Yeah, no problem. Right over there. <laughs> what happened? Paint fairy came. <laughs> Paint fairy came and decided to help you finish that. <laughs> Go ahead and get the tops and the sides and the bottom. It's easier to get the bottom first, and then even while it's wet, you can just sit it right back in the easel. 
That's why we paint them black, so we can just paint them over every once in a while. Yeah, stick your brush in the water so you're not tempted to use them. Yeah, got to give it time to dry. So once you've got the whole front covered and you've got the sides and the top and the bottom, just stick your brush in the water. Everyone's almost done. Get those sides done. We want to start moving on to the details. <laughs> you came late. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Did you get the bottom? Good, good. Don't forget your bottom. Oh, you're an artist. It's proof. <laughs> Hands covered in paint. <laughs> Usually when I'm sitting down to paint, I'll paint all over my clothes, so I always wear an apron. But when I'm standing up, it's always just on my hands. Yeah. You have to scrub and hard to get it out. <laughs> All right, everyone's just about done. Let's let's get our brush. We're not going to clean it just yet. I just wanted you to stick in the water so you're not tempted to use it. Get some paper towels. Fold them in half, fold them in half again. Two paper towels. Then I want you to stick your brush, which is right in the middle of that, and squeeze the water out. We're not going to bother cleaning it right now. You're just going to squeeze the water out. OK. Then we're going to pick up a little bit of white. And you can kind of mix it with some of that color that you have left, but you're not going to mix the whole pile. Just a little bit on the side. Just like that. Everyone got a clean, everyone got a dry brush. It doesn't have to be clean, but it has to be dry. Yeah, just, we're just mixing it with a little bit of the blue, but it has to be a lot lighter than our ocean color. So we're not mixing with the whole pile of blue, just a little bit on the side, see? Just like that. I'm holding it down here because the camera's up there. So people who are watching the camera can see it right there. Okay? Once you mixed it with a little bit of that C color that you have, you're going to come to the top of your canvas. And you're going to start putting some strokes. Okay? Once you got a few strokes, you want to get some of the paint out of your brush on the paper towel. You want to soften those strokes. See, I'm going back over, but there's less paint in my brush, so it's going to get a little softer. Um, the painting has one, two, three, four, but it doesn't really matter. You could do three, you could do five, just somewhere in that range. They just start at the top and they kind of come at an angle coming down. You don't want too much paint in your brush. You get a little bit of it off on a paper towel or the side of your plate. And you're just kind of lightly brushing from the top to the bottom. Well, not all the way to the bottom, somewhere in the middle. Just have some little bit of sunlight coming in there. <laughs> it's really sunny. <laughs> so if, if you have a really strong stroke, you want to get some of that paint out of your brush. So we just took some white and we just mixed it with a little bit of the color we just had. So this color right here, we just took some white and mixed it right here. We didn't mix it with the whole pile, we just mixed it on the side. You just want a light color. Put some strokes. This is going to be the light peeking through. <laughs> if they're really sharp like that, you can just soften them. Because you, you, don't, you don't have as much paint in your brush, you take a lot of the paint out, and then you just go back over. Yeah, so you're just moving the paint that's already on there. It just softens it just a little bit. 
can make them a little thicker so it's bringing some of the paint down and to the side a little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. So get a lot of the paint out of your brush and you just want whatever paint is left, you just want to move it just a little bit. See, I'm just pushing down really hard. Whatever paint is left, I'm just pushing it down and softening the sides. See how I'm getting like little bits of the paint rather than mm -hmm. huge streaks? Just like that. All right, everyone got a little sunlight in their painting? No, not yet? What happened? Don't know what to do? You lost? <laughs> you don't want that much paint in your brush. So oh, okay. well, there's a, there's a bring it to the side right there. Then get some of it off on your paper towel. Oops. There you go, it's gone. <laughs> and just start right here, and you're just going to streak down a little bit. So do like four or three areas. It doesn't matter the number. Just make more. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. I think I put five in mine, but the original painting is four. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yep, just like that. Then you want to take even more paint out of your brush. Yeah, nice and dry. And then you're going to push down hard. And just soften those even more. Yep, just like that. All right, everyone got them some sunlight in there. Good. All right, now we're going to pick up some green. So we don't need to clean our brush, just dab a little bit of green. And you're going to mix it with that white you had. We're going to make our background hills. These don't have a lot of detail, but there are a few key elements. This is the lightest one right in the middle. This is the one we're going to make first. So just take some green and mix it with some white. Make a nice light green color, just like that. So you don't want it too dark. We don't want it too light either. Just a happy medium. Okay. If you look right there on the screen, you can see it a lot closer up. I just added right where I put the white, I just added some green to it and just mix it all around. Okay, then I'm going to come up here and our first little hill comes about above the halfway mark. See, this is about the halfway mark. See how it comes just a little bit above that? Do you want to come right in the center? Give yourself a little gauge line that's about above the halfway point and then just round it into a hill, right in the middle. Okay, then you want to fill it in all the way down to the bottom. Yep, all the way to the bottom of the canvas. Got a nice hill, comes a little bit above the halfway point in the painting, just a little. Fill it all the way in. Got a nice light green hill. Right here. Paint, extra paint is over here. I just. <laughs> you just need a little more white. I do. That's yeah. too much, right? Yeah. Usually, you want to keep all the paint on the paint plate. I need. And this is the mixing one. I so. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> just keeps things organized. I'm a messy painter, so I got to stay organized all the time. Okay. Once you have that, I don't want you to stick your brush in your, the water, but I want you to just stick it to the side because we're going to pick it up in a minute. And then I want you to pick up the little red brush. So everyone find the, lit, the, red, the brush with the red handle. It's a medium-sized brush. Uh-oh. Someone grab that for her on the other side. Right there. I'll get it. I'll get it. There we go. You're welcome. <laughs> Yep, it has a red handle. It's like a reddish-brown handle. 
And we're just gonna take that same color. So we need to make a little more, it's just white with a little bit of green. And we're gonna come and we're gonna make a little seaweed over here and then a little bush-like coral right here. So the first one we do is just on the side. Oops, I need a little more green. I want it to match my hill. And it just come to the side of the hill. It's, it's at the top, but it's a little bit to the side. It's not right in the middle. And you're just gonna come and make these wavy little lines. And these will be our little seaweed. They're in the background, so don't worry too much about the detail, but just wavy little lines will be our seaweed. Yep, the same color. It doesn't matter. Just make one and then have a few bunching together. If you want to count one, two, three, four, it doesn't matter. <laughs> There's just a few right there. You can have a lot. You can have a little. You just want to put some seaweed. <laughs> Can we go back to the background? <laughs> Everyone got some seaweed? All right. The next thing we're going to do, it's almost like a coral, but it's more of a bushy coral. So there's not a lot of detail, but you just want to make one thicker line, add a few thicker branches to that, and then you're going to add a bunch of smaller ones. So one big one. It's kind of short. It doesn't go up that high. Okay, then make three or four larger branches coming off of that. They're just lines, they're coming in different directions. And then put a few smaller ones. And then you're just going to go like this, you're just going to splotch. See, I'm just pushing down with the brush. Yep, I did one big one. Then I did three or four bigger ones and then a few smaller ones. And then I'm just going to push down with the brush and these are almost like leaves going right over the top. You just put a whole bunch of leaves everywhere. It's in the background. You can barely see it, but we just want to create an environment of vegetation for our sea turtle to swim in. Okay, so we just got a bushy little coral-like plant there. And for some reason, it's really dark on that screen. I need to work on that. All right, now we want to make our second hill. So we want to stick our red brush in the water pick up our big white brush again. And this time we want to make a slightly darker hill. So there's still white in it, but we're going to add more of that green. To get more of that green color, make it slightly darker. Like a medium dark green now. It's not light, but it's not dark. It's just medium. Just like that. Okay, and then this hill is right at the halfway point. So if your painting was cut in half horizontally, you're gonna go right there, just put a little line, and then come to the middle of the painting, put another little line, then you're just gonna connect them with a rounded line, just like that. So that's gonna be your second hill. You wanna fill that in with that darker color. Second hill is going to be slightly darker. So right at the halfway mark, you just put a little mark, then right in the middle, and then just curve it all the way down to make that hill. Okay, and since the hill touches the side of the painting. I want you to go ahead and bring some of that color to the side of the canvas. If you look on the screen, you can see that I'm bringing it to the side of the canvas. Just like when we painted the sides blue, any color that touches a side or a top or a bottom, we want to bring that color to the side, the top, or the bottom. We won't worry about the bottom right now just because we're going to add all these little coral. So we don't need to necessarily worry about that right now. But we should get the sides. That's the green. Thalo green. Okay, so get the side of your canvas as well. Okay, then we want to do the same thing. 
and get your little red brush. Just kind of wipe some of the water off on a paper towel. Get the same color that we just used. And we want to do the same thing. We want to add some grasses, some seagrass. This one has a piece of coral at the top, though, so let's work on that first. Everyone have their red brush? Make sure it's, yeah, get the water out. So just wipe it on a paper towel. We don't need it clean, so we're just going to, we're just dealing with green and white right now, so it's not going to affect the color too much. Just make sure it's a little dry. Okay, then we're going to come to the top of the hill. We're just going to make a kind of a thicker line to start with. Okay, and you're going to give it some branches just coming out in different directions, maybe four. And just like we did this one, we're going to make some smaller branches, but unlike this one, we're not going to add the blotches. So we're just adding some smaller branches onto those four branches that we made. They're just kind of going in different directions or different lengths. Just kind of the silhouette of some coral. You can even put a little one down here, connect it to the main one. It's almost like a little dead tree bush. <laughs> Yours looks like a cactus, huh? Okay, <laughs> then coming down the hill, we're just going to put some seaweed. So the same thing, it just starts on the hill, comes up, has a little bit of a squiggle or a curve to it. Depends on what type of seaweed it is. You can decide. They're mostly stray if they got a little bit of a curve. Want it the same color as your hill. You can put some coming down the side. See, I put some here. They're not as bunched together. They kind of spread out a little. Just kind of vegetate the area. Okay, stick that brush in the water. <laughs> Get your big brush in your hand when you're ready. And then I will know. Just put some little plants. Mostly just squiggly lines for this grass coming up the side of the hill. <laughs> don't spend too much time on it. We want to give more time for our sea turtle. This is just in the background. You don't even really look at that stuff in the background. It's just kind of there. Yep, same color as the hill. All right, let's do our third hill. Everyone ready? We're not going to add any white this time. There could be a little bit of white in your brush if you want, if you want to try to scrape some of it out on the side of your plate. And you just want to take a good amount of green. You want this to be the darkest hill, so don't try to add any white to it. Just take green, and whatever white is in your brush is fine. And this one comes a little bit above the halfway point. Just put a little mark there, and it comes all the way to the center. You can even overlap this hill a little bit if you want. And then you just make a nice rounded line. You want to fill it in. Fill in that hill. Just 
get rid of that. Then same thing we did with this hill. If it touches the side of the canvas, you want to paint the side of the canvas that it touches. So wherever that green touches, just bring it over to the side of that canvas. When you're done, you can stick that big brush in the water. You're like, finally. <laughs> and then we'll switch to the red brush and do a few vegetation on that darkest hill. Anytime you're done with a brush, just stick it in the water. This is so paint doesn't dry in it, because you'll come back to the brush and it will be like as hard as a pencil, and you'll be like, it's no longer a brush. <laughs> Okay, once you got your hill filled in, same thing. I'm gonna get your little red brush. Make sure it's not too wet, so wipe it off on a paper towel a little bit. Just get that dark green. And this, sorry, was there a question? Okay, sorry. <laughs> yep, just that dark green. <laughs> And we want to put a coral at the top, just like on this one. This one's a little bit taller. So you just make a, ta a longer line coming up. And this one has a few more branches on it. Hmm? Just do the main branch. And then you want to start on the main branch to do the other one. So we start on it, and then we come off in a different direction. Come off in a different direction. And then add a bunch of little ones. The little ones just kind of fill up that space. So it doesn't look so empty. Since that type of coral doesn't really have leaves or anything. It's just kind of these branch like shapes. Okay, and the same thing, you want to put a little bit of seaweed. Just coming up, it's got a little bit of a swivel, a little curve to it. They kind of bunch together at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> now the background hills are done. <laughs> Practicing all those coral shapes so that when we do the, the yellow coral and that other blue one over there, we're masters of it. <laughs> so instead of having it just come off like that, mm -hmm. start on the main branch first and then come off. So it's a little, it's almost like it is growing off of the branch. Yeah. So when we do the, there's a yellow one and a blue one in there. That's the technique you want to use. All right. I want you to take your big brush, and I want you to pound it up and down in the water. We're not going to use it again, but we just want to make sure it's not going to have any paint that's going to, you know, stay in there. So just pound it up and down, hitting the bottom of the glass. Okay, then you want to clean your red brush. We're gentler with this brush. We just push it on the bottom of the glass and stir it. So don't pound this one. So just stir it around like you're stirring some delicious hot chocolate. <laughs> Starting to get cold. Well, Florida cold anyways. Okay. <laughs> then you want to hold on to the brush, and you want to pull it through your fingers. So hold on to the metal part and just pull it through your fingers. This kind of squeezes the water out, but it also forms the brush. It brings the bristles together a little bit. And let's start on the main shape of our sea turtle. So we don't want to, we want to get a new paint plate. So if you look underneath where your colors are, there's an extra plate right underneath there. There's a couple extra plates, actually. 
Just put it right on top of the one that we had all the green and the colors on. Just put it right on top of there, like that. So now we have a nice clean plate to work with. And we want to pick up white and just put it on the side of the plate. And we're just going to do the whole sea turtle in white first. Yep, we're using the red brush. It's nice and clean and dry now. And we're using white with our red brush. Still got some color in it. Stick it back in the water, swirl it around on the bottom. And try to squeeze as much of that water out as you can. So water's always going to be little different colors, but you squeeze it out. It won't affect the color of your paint. Okay. So let's take a look at our sea turtle. Let's figure out how big it is, what type of shapes we're dealing with, and then we'll go at it. All right, how big is the sea turtle? Let's see. Hmm. I think we want to use our white brush, actually. I was measuring it this morning, so let's use our white brush. Let's use our big white brush. We'll just get the main shell shape. This is going to be a lot easier measuring and filling in with the big white brush. So everyone pound it in the water. This time we need to pound it a lot of times just because it likes to hold on to all of its paint. It's a big mean brush. you got to show it who's boss. So pound it up and down in the water. And same thing as before. Take two, or two paper towels. I'm going to fold them in half. Fold them in half again. Fold them in half again. Stick that brush right in the center and squeeze the water out. Squeeze all the water out. And quite a bit came out, right? <laughs> okay, and just you pick up that white. We just swirl it around on our plate just to get the bristles nice and full of it. All right, let's measure our sea turtle. So let's look at our sea turtle for a minute. The sea turtle shell from the tip, it's about right where, not counting his head, but right where the shell ends. Is about as long as the white part of your brush. So the white part of the handle. Not counting the middle, not counting the bristles. The white part of your brush. That's how long he is. The shape of his shell, it's kind of like a teardrop sitting on its side or an almond shape. It's rounder on this side. It's pointier at this end closest to the side of the canvas. Okay, let's figure out how far down we want that line. It's going to be from the middle part to the bristle. So if we want to come over here, just come to our canvas. Just put our finger right there. Okay, give ourselves about two fingers space. So we don't want to put it right on the edge of the canvas, but we want to put a little dot right there next to our fingers. See how I gave myself a little bit of space by putting my two fingers there? So we came down the middle part to the bristles, put our two fingers there, and put a little dot right there. Okay, now line up the white part of your brush with that dot. And come over here, and that's where the end point is going to be. So just put another little dot right there. Mm -hmm. We're just using white. So just the white handle. We're not using the metal or the bristles. So you just line it up just like that. Put your finger there, put a dot. Okay, then we want to take our brush, and we want to make sure this end is nice and pointy. We're going to come up, come back down, come back over here. So it's like a teardrop sitting on its side. So just start at the first dot, curve to that other dot. <laughs> so just start there. It's pointed, so you're just kind of coming at an angle. Then you curve, come to where that dot is. Okay, then I'm going to start over here again. So it's straight, and then I kind of curve. And it's like a teardrop sitting on its side. And I want to fill in the whole thing white. Oops, got a little bristle in my turtle. There we go. Let's get sideways teardrop. Okay, and stick that brush in the water, and now we'll move to our red brush. So we'll have a little bit more control with a smaller brush. We just want to fill in that turtle shell and get the main shape with our big brush. Okay, 
So make sure your little brush is clean. The red brush with the red handle. Squeeze the water out between your fingers. And we're just using white again because we have a lot of bright colors in our sea turtle. And the thing about bright colors is that they have a really hard time going over top of this blue color. So that's why we're doing it in white first. We've got our red brush and we're going to get our head. Let's work on our head first. Let's find out how big the head is. So this is where the shell starts, right? So the head coming out of the shell is about the length of the metal part to the bristles. If you hold your brush like this, you just come right in the middle where the curve ends. Just put a little dot right there. Okay, and then the top part of his head it curves and then comes to a tip. And then the bottom part, it curves just a little bit, but it's more straight. So we curved on the top to meet that dot right there. And then the bottom part is more straight. It just has a little bit of a curve. So the top part of your head is more curvy. And you can fill it in. Doesn't look right right now because part of his neck is coming into the shell. So if you look right here, look, he's got like half of his neck into that shell. But this is where the shell ends. So don't worry, it's like, oh no, he has no neck. His neck is going to come into the body right there. So don't worry about that. Just worry about getting his head in. It's going to be about the length of the metal part to the tip of the bristle. Okay, now we want to get in his first fin. And it's one right at the front, and it kind of comes underneath where his chin is, and then also right where his shell is. So it starts right here, and it comes down. Let's see how long it is. If you hold your brush in half, it's a little shorter than that. So you want to come right here, right where his head and his shell meet. Put it kind of at an angle, so it's not straight down. It's not over like that. It's kind of at an angle. And a little bit shorter than that, you just want to put a little dot. Okay, so you got your dot. And you want it to curve over like that. And then it curves down to that dot. So it starts right on the shell right here. And the other line is going to start a little bit under his neck. So it curves down to that line. And you want to fill it in. It's got a little bit of curve. His front flippers are a little more curved. His back flippers have a little bit of point to them. That's because he uses his front flippers to grab the water, so they need to be curved. And then his back flippers are more for steering. They don't really do a lot of flapping. Okay, let's come to the back and get this flipper right here. So we want to come and we want to give ourselves a little bit of space. We don't want it to be right where the point is, but we want to come in a little bit. Maybe right there. So it's almost like two fingers close to the back. Okay, and this one's coming at an angle as well. It gets really close to the edge of the painting. So we can kind of gauge how long it's going to be based on that. So just come at an angle. And it's a little flat on the top, and it's more rounded at the bottom. It gets close to the edge of the canvas like that. Okay, so give yourself a little bit of space. Bring that line down close to the edge of the canvas. It's at an angle. And the bottom part of that flipper is a little bit curved and it comes to a point. It's more pointed. Not a super, not a super sharp point, but it is a little pointed. Okay, so you want to make sure that this flipper comes really, really close to the edge of the painting. This one is actually almost touching, so if you want, you can make it a little longer. Okay, then the smallest fin, it's kind of on the other side of his body, so it's shorter. It's going the same direction as this one, but it's half the length. So you just want to come here and be like, that's about the halfway point. Give yourself a little bit of space. Kind of shot, copying the direction that one's going. 
about half the length of this one, see? This is going to be on the other side of that shell. Everyone got three flippers so far? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll come over and help in a minute. We just want to get the main form first. <laughs> you like trees, huh? <laughs> True. <laughs> All right. Our last flipper is our biggest, and it doesn't come it doesn't come at an angle like these ones. It comes down and then curves to the back. And it's right in between the shortest flipper and the flipper at the front. See how it's got about the same length? It's got about the same amount of space in between them. <laughs> Did someone paint the wrong flipper first? <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna come over and help everyone. This is always the hardest part. It's all right. <laughs> all right. So come right in the middle of where the small slipper is, and then the one at the front, come right in the middle, make a little line there, okay? You wanna make the line come down just a little, and then curve to the back. Okay, then you wanna thicken it up. And remember, this is a front flipper, so it's gonna have a curve at the end. So he's gotta be able to grab that water, help him swim, And it will be even a little bit longer because it's going to come up into the body just a little bit. So this one's going to be the longest, and it's also going to be the thickest. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get you started on a few of these plants down here, and then I'm going to come around and make sure everyone's happy with the shape of their sea turtle and everything like that, okay? <laughs> We're feeling a lot. A few of you struggled. It's okay, though. <laughs> okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on this coral right here. Uh, we're going to use white first, so we don't need to wash our brush. Because we, we want these nice bright reds. And reds, red is the same thing. It won't come over strong over top of this um, green color. It's too dark. So how big is our half circle? It's about the length of our brush. It, this plant comes over top of it, but it starts here and it ends here. So we want to give ourselves a little bit of space, maybe three fingers, put a little dot there. Okay, then make it the length of our red brush. So it's all the way to the tip, all the way to the bristles. Okay, we got two little dots, and then you just want to make a half circle. And then you want to fill it in. And this is the part where you're going to start bringing all the colors that you bring right here, the, all the coral, you have to bring it to the bottom of the canvas. So I'm going to come around and I'm going to look at your sea turtle, but I want everyone to fill in that half circle, and I want them to get the bottom of their canvas as well. Okay, how are we feeling about our sea turtles? Ugly. Ugly? <laughs> Ugly. The body is too big and then the legs are too small. No, we can just make the legs a little longer if we want, but we have to remember that some of them are on the other side of the body. So these two are going to be the shortest ones. And then these two are going to be the longest ones. Can make his head a little bigger. That will help. Yeah, we gotta bring this leg a little closer to the edge of that canvas. And this is always gonna be half the length of that one, so let's make it a little longer. There we go. Just a few adjustments. You got the basic idea. It looks good. 
let's make this one a little bit more of a curve though. Just like that. And this head just needs to be the littlest bit bigger. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> Got the length, right? Just need to add a little bulge at the top. It's okay if it, it's okay if your turtle's not all the way white. If you see a little bit of streaks in there, because yeah. <laughs> we're going to be adding more colors on top, so it's just to give us a little bit of a base coat. I think everything else is good. We got all the links right, so awesome. <laughs> how are we feeling about our turtles? Horrible. Horrible. <laughs> I'm trying to see how I tried to fix that mm -hmm. area. <laughs> I came in a little, and I know I have realized that this is actually the one on the other side up. There. Uh. Got a little bit darker there. Just try to match that color. This one. Yeah, and then just make it a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, just make it a little bit longer. You're welcome. Let me clean my brush because. Mostly dealing with white right now. Okay, how we feel about our sea turtle? Everyone got the bottom of their canvas? They lifted it up and got the white? All right, do that, please. You don't like that shape? Yeah, it got a little bit too curvy. See how this one does curve, but it's just a little. There we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Uh oh. Where's the blow dryer? No, keep them out. Is that okay to do it outside? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I think you, you, your your paint was a little too thick here when you went with the green. Let, let me see your sea turtles first, though. How are we feeling about our sea turtle? Mm mm. <laughs> mm mm. <laughs> you need to make it a little bigger. It's a little too flatted to your drop. No problem. No, you just okay. need to fatten up a few That's things. All. <laughs> Let me come up here and show everyone another step, just because I don't want so many people like waning, waning, come see my turtle. So I'll show you what another step. Everyone, you don't have to wash your brush, but just pick up a little bit of red, make a nice light pink. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna make this little, it's almost like a fan coral. I don't really know the exact name for it. Um, let's see. So if we take our brush in half, we're holding it in half, right? Our red brush. Take our brush in half, fill a little dot right there, take it in the corner, about half the length of the brush, put a little dot. Okay, and then it's got two humps. We got one big one and then it humps down, small one. So it's, it's almost like a rounded uh, square almost. Two rounded squares next to each other. So we curve down just like that. And then we curve down to where our dot is. So we wanna fill that in. We just made a pink, so we just added some, uh, we had already had white in our brush, so we just added white and red together, made a pink. Okay, and this one you're going to get the side of the canvas where it touches and the bottom of the canvas where it touches. Okay, back around, sea turtle patrol. <laughs> How do we feel about our sea turtle? That thing has two heads. <laughs> Give these a little, maybe a little mm, more good. thin light. Mm, okay. You just need a few adjustments. Mm -hmm. You got the basic idea. Mm -hmm. Let's make his back fin just a little bit longer. You want to get 
a little bit closer to the side of the camera. There we go. Because this one's going to be in front. This one's on the other side, so that's why it looks small. It's all about perspective. No problem. How are we feeling about our seat, Charlie? It needs, it needs a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, we can right here. Add a little point. Yeah, we'll just make his body a little bit bigger. And then it won't look so disproportionate. Let's work on the shapes of his fins first, and then we'll make his body a little bigger. Paint's not like pencil. <laughs> a lot of people ask that. They're like, yeah, maybe I'm an eraser for paint. And I'm like, nope. But there are a few things you can do. Big enough. And then we'll make the shell just a little bit bigger. So the fins do not look. You're welcome. It'll start coming together too as we add the details because it's like, oh, these fins are in the back and these ones are in the front. So, how we feel about our sea turtle? Yeah, you got the basic shape. Let's just get I want it to come to a point, but it's also because the shell isn't as long on the back. So if we make it a little longer, that one won't look so big. And then we can also make this one just a little bit longer. This one, just a little longer, and then it should start looking a little more proportionate. Better? You just made a few adjustments. You you got pretty much it on spot. <laughs> Ooh, you have no white left. I'll use what I have. How are we doing? He's fine? All right, he's fine. Good? Yeah, is there something you don't like about that I can help you with? You don't like your background? Don't worry, we'll put all that beautiful coral in there. You won't even pay attention to that. Did I get everyone over here? No? How's, how's the turtle doing? Not well? Well? Does he look sick? A little under the weather? No, nah, he looks good. <laughs> when you when, next, when we paint the other seaweed, instead of like just making a line coming off of there, you want to start on the line and then come off. Start on the line and then come off. So you always want to start on the main branch. Okay, let's see. Let's just make this a little more rounded. And your sea turtle's kind of looking up. Is that okay? Huh? Is it okay? He's like looking up there. You tell me. Does he look hungry? He's looking for jellyfish. I'm gonna go find some jellyfish to eat. <laughs> like this one needs to be a little longer. Oh, yeah, you got to watch out for that. <laughs> Give his face a little bit. 
Sea Turtle's got a little bit of a beak, so we gotta make it come to a little bit of a point. There we go. There we go. You just need to bulk up a little. Anyone else? Anyone else? Is my turtle fat enough? <laughs> yes, he looks good. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Anyone else? Need help? It looks good. You got the basic, like, you got this one. This, these two are, this one's a little longer. These two are supposed to be the biggest because they're in the front. But you got the basic shape, so. Let's get it a little wider, just because when we add the yellow, we don't want the blue coming through. Do, do, do. And the front fins need to be a little rounder. All right, clean your brush. Get your brush in the water, get it nice and clean. We're using the red brush still. The one with the red handle, yep. Squeeze the water out. I usually squeeze it over my cup, but so you can see. I just hold onto the middle part, pull my fingers through it. Okay, you wanna pick up some white and a little bit of blue. Just mix them together. Get kind of a medium blue. Not too dark, not too light. More on the light side than the dark side. You know, if you watch Star Wars. <laughs> woo woo! So get it more on the light side. Okay, <laughs> then we want to come over here to this corner of the painting. We want to take our brush, stick it right there, just put a little dot. So the whole length of the brush, just put the white end in the corner, put the bristles right there, put a little dot. Okay, we're going to make these finger-like corals. So we have our little dot there, right in the middle of that, in the middle of here, right here, we want to put the tallest one. So it's going to be about as tall as the red part of the brush, so the, well, from the handle, so the red to the white tip. So that's how tall the big one is, the one in the middle is gonna be. Okay, and then you wanna come all the way to that line and they're gonna get shorter. And they're right next to each other, they're touching each other on the side, but they're just getting a little shorter as you come to that dot that we have. Okay, then you want to come on the other side and do the same thing. Which is getting a little shorter. Be careful not to go over top of your pink fan coral there. And just put a few behind it. See how I'm just putting a few behind it? I go around it when I get towards it. What we're doing is we're blocking right now. Is we're blocking up shapes and we're blocking colors and then we're gonna add the details to them after. Okay, then we wanna come up behind our dome that we have. We have our white dome, right? We wanna come not in the middle, but a little bit to the right side and we wanna start putting this blue coral in. So when we're practicing with these corals, now it's judgment day. So come up behind it, don't go over top of it. Put one main line, give it a little bit of thickness. Not too thick, just a little. Okay, 
Then I want you to come out. I want you to start on the main line that we made first. And then I want you to come out and do some thinner lines. So start on the main line. And you're going to branch out in a different direction. Start on the main line. Branch out in a different direction. And give yourself three to five of those. Okay, so whenever you're doing coral, you want to start on the main line first. It'll help you with the direction of it. Okay, give yourself three to five branches. Then you want to add a bunch of small ones. Now I want you to do the same thing. Come to one of your branches, start with the same direction as that branch is going, and make a smaller one. Make a smaller one. Okay, follow the main direction. Make a smaller one coming out, branching out. Just like that. I'm going to take this phone call really quick. Sorry about that. Paint Along Studios, may I help you? Um, Dave's not here right now. Do you want me to take a message for you? Oh, um, do you want me to text, to text his number to you? I have his other number. Yeah, I'll do that for you. All right, bye. You're welcome. Sorry about that. We have another event going on. I don't usually take calls during class. Get that call. Get that coral in. Okay. Do, do, do. All right, stick your brush in the water. All right, looking nice and corally. Make sure it's clean. Let's make another coral, but let's use white this time. We're going to do this yellow coral. Uh, if you want, you can switch to the little blue brush, but I'm just going to use this one because I'm lazy. It'll take me longer if I use the blue brush. But if you want to make a thinner one, you can go ahead and do that. But just remember that we're adding a highlight and a shadow, so we don't want it too thin either. So go ahead and get some white. Once your brush is nice and clean, doesn't have too much water in it. And right where the pink little fan coral is, we're going to do the same thing. So instead of we have a blue coral and we're going to have a white one over here, we'll make it yellow in a minute. But we have to use white just like we did the turtle so that it's nice and bright. So the same thing. Give yourself a line, you can curve a little bit, start on the main line, give yourself a few branches, branch out, branch out. Okay, give yourself some smaller branches, start in the same direction. As the main branch. I'm going to come around and check to make sure the part we're doing next is dry. Yeah. You, you want to, you want to, no, no. <laughs> you just want to add some more. The thing is, you, you want lots of them, just like you did here. See how you added a lot of little branches? I'm going to do the same thing with this one. <laughs> no, it's. I'm saying the main is, like, shape of it is correct. You just need more branches on it. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, yours looks like coral. More little branches, more little branches. Then yours will look like coral, too. Good, good. Mm -hmm. No. 
if you try, I'll help you, but I'm not gonna do it for you. <laughs> I won't do your painting for you. If you try, I'll help you. <laughs> you can buy the painting I'm doing if you want, but I'm not gonna do yours for you. Okay, <laughs> clean your brush. We're using the red brush again. Make sure it's dry. If you need another paint plate, if you're like filling up a lot of space, you don't want to accidentally mix colors, just get another one underneath. If ever you run out, there's more up here where the paint is as well. I just put it right on top. And we're gonna pick up red. Um, I'm noticing how a lot of you are using your brush. Let's use the blue brush. So stick that one back in the water and pick up your blue brush. It's already dry, so don't worry about drying it. Get some red and some black. We're using the little blue brush. We haven't used it yet. Red and black, mix them together. You get like a maroon type color. Yep, red and black. More red than black. You want a nice dark maroon color. Okay, once you got that color, I wanna come to this dome shape that we have here, and we're gonna start putting in these shapes that we have. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do four big circles just sitting right at the bottom of the canvas. So if you want, you can put it in half and then in fourth. So now I know where each of those circles are going to sit because I put a line there. Okay? So I'm going to make four circles. So it's right on top of that white shape. So they're all the circles are touching and they're filling up that whole space. It's okay if you end up with five or more than that or three, just as long as you got circles going along the bottom. So should, it's the bottom of the canvas and so all the circles should be touching each other and fill up that space. Oops, don't fill them in, don't fill them in. <laughs> Got a little ahead of yourself. <laughs> Let me see if I can locate the... We have a hair blow dry around here somewhere. <laughs> Got ahead of yourself, huh? <laughs> hmm. Can't find it right now. Wait, here we go. All right, I'll help you with that in a minute. Okay, on top of those, I want you to put some oval shapes now. So like in between each circle. So you got two circles here, right? On top of those, you just wanna put an oval shape. So I just came in between those two circles and put an oval on top of them. Same thing over here. I'm gonna fill up the whole space, all the way across. Okay, so we should have circles along the bottom. We should have some ovals on top of there. We should start filling up the space. Okay, and then we want to put even thinner ovals on top of those. We just want to fill up the rest of it with ovals. If you've got a lot of space, you just really, really dome, then you might even have to put another row of those ovals. But the top row, you want it to be the thinnest ovals. Starts creating that perspective. Okay, and then in, in between all the ovals and the circles, don't fill it in with that color. But in between all of them, you want to fill in that color. So look up here. I'm not filling in any of the ovals or the circles, but in between them. That's where I'm filling in. Thank you. 
Yeah, hold on, I'll set it up. Okay, I also want you to come to the bottom of your canvas and get that dark color there. Let me find an outlet. We're still kind of rearranging things. Let's see, over here. that little boo-boo. <laughs> We're gonna and, and I put the little marks. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just going to blow dry it, and then we can put the white over top, and then it won't be bothered at all. <laughs> so go ahead and lift up your canvas and get the bottom part of that oval, that dark maroon color that we made. It's okay that it's a little bit showing too because we just need it light so we can put that bright red there. Oops, I stole your brush. <laughs> hey, everyone got the bottom of their canvas? No? <laughs> Get her done. Yep, just like that. Hmm? Oh, yeah, let me fix that. <laughs> I'm surprised you guys weren't sitting next to each other. We've had it happen before where one person will make a mistake and then everyone down the row will make the same mistake and then we're like, are y'all cheating off each other?
All right, don't put your brush in the water. We're gonna do one more thing. Okay, we want that red maroony color that we made. And we wanna come to our circles and our ovals. And we wanna put, in all of our circles, we wanna put a smaller circle in the middle. And fill it in. Yep, the same color. Okay, and all the ovals, you want to put either just a line or just a smaller oval. Just sitting right in the middle, not touching any of the edges. If you can't fit an oval in the smaller ones, just put a line. Solid? Yep, those are solid. You fill them in. Now we should have like a bunch of Cheerio looking things. And you can stick your brush in the water. So we'll knead it clean for the next step. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And then we'll, when it's dry, then we'll add the bright reds and everything like that. You want to get the dark part first and let it dry. <laughs> you really want me to do core for you, don't you? <laughs> It's like, I'll plan it just so she has to come over here and do my coral for me. You win, you win. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Halloween is over. <laughs> no ghost turtle for me. Yep. You can clean it up if you've got time for that. I'll be up there in a minute. So run, clean your brush. I'm going to use the little red one. need some more. Now you need white. Yeah, that's what you need. Let me just borrow some of yours. <laughs> and you can go up and get your own one. When you're done, let's see. That one's a little taller. It's alright. It'll start looking more red when we add the bright colors to it. We have to let it dry, though. <laughs> this is why you're behind, Mike. You like to check out everyone else's paintings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get your little blue brush. Make sure it's clean. Same thing, you want to squeeze the water out. Just squeeze it just like that. I want to pick up some blue. And first thing we want to do is we want to come back to this shape right here, all those little fingers that we made. And we want to start creating that shape that we have. So we don't want to start outlining the top ones, but we want to start making some small ones at the bottom. So just make these long finger-like things. Make some shorter ones. Nope, just took some straight blue. You can mix with a little something if you want, but I'm just going to take straight blue. Okay, you got some shorter ones. Do the short ones first because they're in front. Okay, then behind those, I'm going to have another row. They're going to be slightly taller. They're all kind of pointing up. Some of them could be pointing, you know, a little off to the side. They're just these little finger-like things.
Yeah, I've created several rows of them. I haven't even touched the top ones yet. Make a bunch of shorter fingers, then make some slightly taller ones behind those. They're kind of different sizes. Some of them are taller than each other. Some of them are a little bit different direction. So I got like a messy little row at the bottom, a slightly some taller row, and then I got another one right there. And then when I'm done with all my rows, then I can start outlining the top ones. So I've got to put all those ones in front first. Okay, just want to go up around those forms with a little blue brush. Just kind of creating that shape. Everyone's so quiet, they're concentrating. Gotta get my fingers right. <laughs> yep, just like that. Creating different rows that are different heights. They're all growing up together. Then you can, once you got all your rows, then you can start getting the ones on the outer rim. Okay. Once you got all of those done, I want you to come to your other blue coral over here. And all those branches on the right side, you're just going to put a little bit of that darker color. Right side. Yeah. <laughs> right side. So if I hold in my right hand, I'm going to come to each of those branches. Yep. So the short ones, the long ones. It doesn't have to be on every single one, but just so that we got a shadow. So I'm just going right over top of that coral on the right side, just putting a little bit of that darker color. Just so the shadow starts coming through. Start giving our coral a little bit of depth. Okay, so you just come to any of the branches, the big branches, the small branches. You're just going to put it on the right side. I'll come and help you with this one. You come right here, and I want you to not, don't outline all these yet, but make shorter ones in front, and then do another row that's slightly taller, and then another one. Yep, just little fingers. Let me go get. It doesn't matter. They're all about the same size, but it's not exact science. I got thicker ones, thinner ones. Some are longer, some are shorter. why we use the red brush because it's really hard to get those <laughs> shadows in mm. with the other one. I don't got paint on yours. I got paint everywhere. <laughs> it's okay. Let's get it dry and then we'll just go back over with a darker color. We'll fix it down the line. I'm going to do some of this. Grab 
be some more green. Okay, clean your brush when you're done. And you want to pick up some white. And on this coral, you're going to put white on the opposite side. So we put dark on the right side. On the left side, we're going to put white on each of the branches. So just come and put white on each of those branches. Now we got light blue, we got white, and we got dark blue. So it's just on the opposite side of where we put the shadow. Just going to have a dark and a light now. Okay, then I want you to come back to your little fingers. And you're still using white. And we're going to come and we're going to put these little dots. So this will start creating the texture on this one. So the dots are going to be at the top and they're going to come down the left side. Just these white little dots. Just poke, 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 poke with the end of that brush. They start at the top and they kind of travel down the left side of each of those fingers. Okay, if the dots touch each other, they don't come all the way down. They kind of stay towards the top, but they do come a little bit down the left side. Starts creating some texture. Mm -hmm. So it's at starting at the top of each of the fingers and then traveling down the left side just a little bit. You're doing dots. So it's like dot, 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 coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. So you just start at the top of each finger and come down the left side. Yep. They start at the top of each of those fingers and they travel down the left side, just like that. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. You just start at the top and then just travels down the left side just a little bit. No, you can do it right now. It's okay if it mixes with the blue a little bit, just as long as you have some white dots. All right, looks good. Okay, I want you to pick up either the red brush or the blue brush, whichever. We're just gonna get this white coral and we're gonna turn it yellow. So just pick up some straight yellow and just get it yellow. We had to do it white first. So now we're going to turn it yellow. So either brush you're comfortable with, it'll you'll be able to get it done faster with the red brush, but you'll have more control if you have a really thin coral with the blue brush. Yep, just straight yellow. It's a nice bright coral. 
Yep, just going over the top. We had to make it white first because the yellow is a weak color. It won't go over top of dark colors. Nice bright yellow. <laughs> so get your coral nice bright yellow once you're done there. Just get that white coral nice bright yellow. And we'll add the shadows after it's dry. Then you want your red brush. You don't have to clean it, but make sure you're using the red brush. Pick up some yellow and a little bit of brown and a little bit of white. We're just going to make this nice light color that our sea turtle is. We're not making the shadowy one right now. So we'll get yellow, white, and just a teeny bit of brown, just a little. Just kind of softens it. We're going to get white, yellow, and a teeny bit of brown. Yeah. It's more on the yellow side, but you don't want it completely just yellow or else it'll be way too bright. Make sure there's enough white in there. Okay. Then we're not going to do the whole sea turtle yellow, but we are going to do the bottom half. So we want to kind of create where our shell is going to start. So everyone got that nice color? Just color like about that. It's got white in it, and it's got yellow, and it's got a teeny bit of brown. Yep, it's still pretty yellow though, but we don't want it quite as bright yellow as that coral we just did. So that's why we added a little bit of brown to it and a little bit of white to it. Now we want to come to our sea turtle, and we want to try to figure out where the curve starts, where the shell is, okay? So if we look at the sea turtle, it kind of curves back right here, so it kind of copies this line, just comes, comes right in the middle right here. It's kind of a straight line. It dips down right here. It's got a curve, and then it almost creates a hood right where his head's going to come out. So if you want, we got to start up here. Put a little dot. See how it just came a little bit above into the shell? Just a little bit above that. So where his head and the shell meet, just come a little bit above that. Create a little hood. Then just stick his head in. A little, they don't really do that with sea turtles, but they have it anyways. <laughs> okay, we got our hood. We're going to come over here. And it's not right here at the tip. It's not halfway. It's a little bit above that going to put another little line. So we got our hood and then we got a little line at the back. It's not at the point. It's a little bit above that. Okay. And then we're going to come straight, kind of cutting the turtle in half. And when you get close to this point, you're going to curve. It's going to curve up. So we got our hood and then we started back here. We were straight and then we curved up. So he's got a curve where the hood is and then a curve right here where it changes direction. Okay, then we want to fill in the whole bottom part of the shell yellow. So his head, his fins, and the bottom part of the shell, we want to do that yellow color.
Yep, the yellow with the white and the brown. See how by adding the brown and the white, it's softened? It's not like this neon color like this coral is down here. This is like a bright, bright neon yellow. This is a softened yellow. Just need to make a little more of that color. Finish filling in the head and the bottom flicker. be our first base coat we're going to add other layers that'll start creating dimension in our turtle we'll pull forward the two flippers in the front and push the other ones back we'll also start creating the effect of the neck and the head right now we're just blocking color though blocking the color blocking the color Mm-hmm. How's everyone feel about their turtle so far? Let me get the same color you have. I just want to create the hood first. See what's coming down like that. And then we're going to do a straight line. And as you get close, you just curve it up like that. Let me just fill it in. You're welcome. Just want to create a little bit of a hood. It's perfect. Okay, then that same color, you don't have to clean your brush. Just pick up a little bit of green, mix it in. It's just going to make like a soft green color. You can add a little bit more yellow if you want to, just to make it a little brighter. And you're just going to fill in the top part of the shell with that green. So I added some green to that, and I added a little bit more yellow, just to make it a little brighter. And he's just going to come, and he will no longer have a white shell. He will have a bright green shell. Get a nice bright green turtle shell. And we'll add the darker and the lighter green to it after, but we've got to block in that color. We're not even cleaning our brush. We're just adding green and then a little bit more yellow. And it should give us a nice bright green. Hmm? Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. We can give them a little bit of more of a hood. Yeah. 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 Just want to give that a little curve. Yeah. Oops, mixing with the yellow. You're welcome. Yeah, just give it a little bit of a curve. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. Yeah. 
<laughs> Are you okay? What happened? <laughs> yeah, just give a little bit of a curve. Creating a little hood for his head to sit in. Okay. What happened? His head's white. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Just clean your breath. <laughs> you did everything else. You forgot the head. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> It's just yellow with white and a little brown. Hmm? Fair enough, his head white. Just like go the wide every time I. Yeah, you're putting on the paint a little thick. You don't need quite that much. Because you got a lot of paint on there. It'll never dry in time. Don't worry about if you got a few of those because there's more layers okay. to it. I mean, okay. mine has a few of those too. You just can't see it from this distance. <laughs> it's no problem. Okay. Clean your brush. Get a nice clean brush. We're going to use, yeah, the red brush. We'll just stick with the red for now. Clean the red brush. Squeeze the water out. You want to pick up, uh, hold on, mine wasn't quite clean. <laughs> I'm going to pick up straight red. Yep. You can add a little bit of yellow to it if you want, but we're just going to be getting this nice bright red in here now. Make sure yours is dry, though. If it's not, take it to the blow dryer back there. You just want to fill in these white O's and make them nice bright red. Yeah, I added a little yellow to mine just because I don't want it to be pink. Because I already got a pink coral over here, so. I added just the tiniest bit of yellow. You don't have to worry too much about staying in the line just because the color behind it is so dark it won't really show up. Especially when it completely dries, you won't even see it. So just get all those O's and ovals filled in. Nice bright red color. Filling all the O's. What's wrong with it? Oh, what? Oh, you don't. You need a little bit of the hood. Here, let's use this. It's going to be the same color you have. You can add a little bit more of that back when it's dry. Okay. It's wet right now, but we're going to be 
See how it's slightly lighter just around the rim? You can just go over top of the green and it'll just make it, just clean that up a little bit. Yep. You got to let it dry, so can't do it right now. Yep, fill them in. Okay, when you're done with that, everyone got them filled in? Okay, one more minute, let everyone finish. Fill in those O's. Fill them in, fill them in. <laughs> Everyone got that filled in? All right, you have your red brush, right? Just, you don't have to clean it, just take straight red. We already have it. And you want to come to this little pink coral right here and just right in the middle, just put some streaks. So don't go all the way to the top, but starting from the bottom, just put some streaks. Starting at the bottom, just coming up a little bit, messy little streaks. Come to the side, the side of the canvas, put a little some streaks there. Okay, once you got some streaks, mix it with some white. Put a few lighter streaks. Just going half on top of the darker ones, close to the top. Just kind of messy little streaks and then not even more white. Oops, I got some blue in my white. It's turning purple. <laughs> So we did red and then we added a little bit of white just to make it a little lighter pink right here. Okay, then we added even more white. Made the lightest one just go all around the top of each of them and then just a few streaks coming down. Okay, then you want to clean your brush because you don't want any white in it. And you're going to make, you're going to take red and a little bit of black, just like we did here. We made that darker color. When we make our lighter streaks, we don't want to streak all the way to the bottom. We just want to stay towards the top. So we'll have a Lighter top area, starts getting more colorful in the middle, and then at the bottom, we're gonna make a darker color. We just make that darker by cleaning our brush, and then we get red and we get black. And right at the bottom, we just put some darker streaks. And the colors kind of blend together, that's okay. The last one, I cleaned my brush because I don't want any white in it. I'm going to put it at the bottom, yeah, just like that. Make sure it's dry, and you just added red with a little bit of black. Remember how we made this dark color? Same thing. And just at the bottom, we put some darker streaks. All right, what's
what should we work on next? You want to clean your brush after? We're going to make a purple color. Add a blue. Okay, so make sure your brush is nice and clean. Still using the bread brush. We're gonna make a purple, so we're gonna pick up red and a little bit of blue and even some white, because we don't wanna make it too dark. Yep. And a little bit of white. And get some white in there. We don't want it too dark. Okay, so red, blue, and a little white. Yep. Red and blue. And then I added some white. Okay, let's start making the shape of this coral over here, this purple one. We want to come down here and see this green space that's left? Right in the middle of it, you want to put a little dot there. Okay, we got a little purple dot. Make sure you have a little bit of white mixed with your purple. Okay, and we want to start making these tube-like structures. So we made a little dot, so we have a reference point. We want to start at the dot. And we just want to make a line, some shorter ones, slightly longer ones. You got one that's kind of facing the turtle, one that's kind of facing the top of the canvas, one that's curving towards the other side. One that's coming out the side of the canvas. Okay, once you got lines, so we'll start at the bottom. All the lines are going to start at that dot that we put at the bottom. And they're going to become different directions and be different lengths. So we got a shorter one, it's kind of pointing towards the sea turtle. We got one that's kind of pointing up. We got one that's curving a little bit away to the side of the canvas. We added, to make our purple, we added red and blue, and then we added a little bit of white. Okay, once we got our lines, on the top of each of those lines, we want to put an oval shape. So a really long oval. So these ones are thinner, so not a giant oval, but it just comes off the sides of the, of the line we have. Okay, then we're going to come to the tip of each of those ovals and bring it back down towards the bottom. See how we're just kind of filling it in? We'll come to the tip. Bring it back down to that dot we had at the bottom. Come to the other side of that tip. Back down to the bottom. So it's starting to fill in those shapes. And they could be pushing against each other. They don't have to be too far apart. You can have space between them, but they can also be touching each other, too. So we made the ovals on the end, and then we came to the tip of each of the oval and brought it back down to our starting point at the bottom. Okay, we want to leave that for now. Stick your brush in the water. We're going to switch to our blue brush. Want to pick up some yellow. And mix it with just the tiniest bit of red. Just make kind of an orange color with our little blue brush. It's got a blue handle. Get yellow and mix it with just the tiniest bit of red. Just makes an orange color. Okay. 
yellow with a little bit of red just to make an orange color just a very little bit of red so get yellow and then tiniest bit of red just to get an orange color we're going to come to our yellow coral it should be dry by now and this is going to be the shadow color so it's going to go on the right side so all the little coral branches i'm going to put that shadow color that orange color on the right side The right side. There's kind of reflective water all over the place, but down where the coral is, all the shadows are going to be on the right side, and all the highlights on the left. Just come to all the little branches and put a little bit of that orange color. Okay, clean your brush, and you just want to pick up some white, and you put, what happened? <laughs> too fast, too fast. <laughs> Need a little more white in there. And you want them all to come to the same point. kind of fill up the space in the corner and add an extra small one coming right here and then we'll add like one over top also when it dries okay. and there's your water <laughs> you want to get your blue brush now and we just took yellow with a little bit of red and then we just came on the le on the right side sorry yeah, each of the branches, just, just like we did the shadow on this one. We did the same thing over here. We just made a little orange, so more yellow, just a teeny bit of red to that. Oops. You're on schedule? Okay. <laughs> I heard a cry of despair. I didn't know exactly where it came from. Yep. Mm -hmm. so just like this, put it over there. Hmm? <laughs> just need to blend it a little better. Where is your red brush? try to keep the brushes in the water <laughs> just because then we know where they are and they won't dry out while we're using a different brush no. <laughs> see you need some clean red <laughs> got a little messy <laughs> I'll do mine in a minute, but go ahead and clean your brush. And on the opposite side of that orange, you're just going to put white. So a white line, just like we did with the other coral. Oops, where am I going? <laughs> it's just a fan coral, so it just has different colors in it. So you kind of got like dark and then a little yeah, light, but yeah. <laughs> you just touch up mine a little. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so 
Got a staggered wound card. Yeah, good to know. Yeah. Usually that happens like when you don't paint, when you have not a lot of paint in your brush. And so everything's drying really, really fast. Like add back the main color in the middle. Now get the light color on top. Yeah, see, while it's wet, it's a little easier to blend. Yeah. Try to get the dark color. Don't want any white in it. See how it's wet? It's kind of blending together. Yeah, it can happen if you don't have like enough paint in your brush. Or if you're doing each step really slow, yeah. then it's like, oh, don't, it's dry already. <laughs> you're welcome, no problem. Okay, so I haven't done it yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to put the white on the opposite side of my yellow coral. So I got my orange on the right side, now I'm going to put the white on the left side. If you haven't already done it, go ahead and do it. Now we got the dark and the highlight, just like with the blue coral, but now it's on the yellow coral too. Okay, let's pick up our red brush. Let's give everyone 30 more seconds to finish that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, get your red brush. Make sure it's clean and dry. Squeeze the water out. We're gonna come back up to our sea turtle. <laughs> Yay, turtle! <laughs> We're gonna get some yellow and some brown. And we're gonna make this shadowy color. So there's gonna be more brown at this time. Yep, yellow and brown. There's going to be more brown in it this time. Let's see. Okay, so yellow and brown. And we're going to add the tiniest, the tiniest bit of green. Okay? It has to be a very, 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 very tiny amount. If you add too much, you have to start all over. Okay? You just add a little bit of green, it just softens that color. We started with the brown and the yellow, and then we just added the tiniest bit of green. The tiniest amount we could ever think of adding. So our color does not turn green, it just turns a slightly softer brown. Yep, there's more brown this time. So it's yellow, brown, and then we add a tiniest bit of green. The tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit. Cannot emphasize that enough. We're not making green. <laughs> it is still a brown. It is just a softer brown because we've added a little bit of green. <laughs> All right. Once we got our color, we want to start. We want to leave this space right here. We want to leave that yellow. So don't come right up against the green right here. You want to leave a little bit of space. See how I'm leaving a yellow line almost all the way around the shell? You just start and you're going to follow the curve of that line, but we're leaving it right there. We're not butting up right to the green of the shell. We're leaving it. We're leaving a curve right there. Okay. Okay, so now we have a line starting to create our shadow. Okay, so just follow the curve of the green, but don't butt up to the green. Leave a yellow line all the way around. OK, 
Okay, let's come to the back of the turtle. We're going to look at this first leg right here. It doesn't go straight across. The yellow comes up into the shell. So instead of putting a line straight across, I want you to come up, put a little curved line right there. See how it curves into the shell? Curves into that shell space. Okay, and the little tail end, just fill it in with that brown. See, we just filled it in right there. We came up into the shell. We give it a little bit of a curved line on that very back flipper. Okay, our little flipper right here, we're just going to go straight across. We didn't give it any curve at all. We just went straight across. We started on the line of the bottom of the shell, went straight across to the other side of the shell. We just made a line straight across. Once we come straight across, we're going to come to the left side of the little fin. I'm just going to put a little bit on the left side. About two-thirds, so we'll leave a third of it yellow. Okay, it's got a little bit of a shadow on that back fin. Okay, let's come up here to our nice big fin that we have because it's the one in the front closest to us. Creates an optical illusion of it being closer, so it's bigger. And you want to do the same thing we did here. We just want to come up into the shell, create a little bit of a curve. And we can fill in that space on his underbelly. That's my son, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> Once he realizes I'm in the room, he's like, oh, no, she's there. <laughs> I want to go see her. <laughs> okay, well, I want to come here. The last fin. We haven't touched it yet. Right at the front, underneath his head. want to come in just the bottom part of it, or the left side of it. Just put some of that color. little bit thicker where it connects to the body. See how I got, I made a thin line and then I made a little thicker where it connects to the body, right here. Just following that curve of this flipper. Okay, <laughs> now we wanna come and put some at the bottom of his head. So start at the tip and just come and it's almost like we're continuing his neck. So just bring it into the body. See how it matches up right here? Starting to create his neck shape as it comes into the body. So start right here at the tip, right underneath. Curve down into the body of the shark. Bottom part of the shell. Okay, then come up here right where the neck and the head meet and just make a curved line coming down. Just kind of comes down at an angle. Okay, then you want to fill in the rest of the tur turtle with that darker color. Now we start creating our shadow effects. Now we have the different places our shadow is. I'm gonna stick that brush in the water. We're gonna get our little blue brush. Get it nice and clean and dry. Let's start putting the lines in the turtle shell. We want to get some white and some yellow. 
There's more white than there is yellow. So start with white and just put the littlest bit of yellow in there. Yes, very, very pale yellow. We're going to make this right here, these lines. Can't, can't even really tell there's yellow in there, but there is. Okay, so every turtle shell is a little different. They all have different shapes in their shell, but we'll get everyone as close as we can to these shapes. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make these three triangles right here. Yeah, there's a triangle right here, right here, right here. So the first one is right where the shell starts curving down. You just want to make a triangle. See how the rim of the turtle shell kind of creates the last angle of that? Make a triangle right at the curve. I'll let everyone get some paint first. I don't want to lose anyone. <laughs> this part's a little like, can you do it all over again? <laughs> Give everyone a minute to sit down. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do these three little triangles. We put our first triangle right at the curve, right where it curves down and starts going straight to the back. We put one triangle there. And we want to come to the back. And the next triangle, it touches the very end of the tail. And it comes down here. So this one's all the way at the back. They're kind of all pointing different directions. This one's kind of pointing up to this side. This one's kind of pointing to the center of the canvas. And the middle one's going to be just somewhere in between those two where it's pointing. OK, so we got one right at the curve. We got one at the back. Just kind of pointing to the center of the canvas, like it's pointing right here. Oops. Okay, and we want to put our last one. It's a little closer to the back than it is to this one, but it's still in the middle. So we've got a little bit of space here, but a lot more space in between these two. And these two, these two triangles are kind of pointing in the same direction. They're both kind of pointing to the middle of the canvas. <laughs> okay, then I want you to take your brush, and I want you to just kind of stick it right in the middle of that triangle. See how I'm coming to the point? Don't put it on top, but just put it in front of it. So now we know the direction that this line is going to go, right? We just put it right on that triangle, just put a little line there. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with this triangle. Just put it right in between those, so it's going to be heading that direction. So just put a little line heading in that direction. The one right here is kind of curving towards the back. You just want to make it coming up to the side, kind of touching the back of that. Okay, then I want you to connect these two lines. Just connect them at the top. Okay, got them connected. Okay, then you just want to kind of come at an angle for this one. The angle's pointing this way in this direction, kind of towards the middle of the canvas almost. Okay, and this one's going the opposite way, at an angle this way. And now we got little pockets for our little colors to fit in. We'll leave it for now though, because we want to let it dry, but we're going to add these little lighter areas and these darker areas. Now we've created the shapes that we need to work with. So let's go ahead and stick the brush in the water. 
Let's get our red brush. Everyone gonna make sure it's clean. <laughs> Oops, I need some red. We're gonna be making this orange coral in the middle. So get some yellow. Yep, with the red brush. Get some yellow and a, just a little bit of red, just to make a nice light orange. And we're also gonna add some white to it. Yellow and red, more yellow than red. So start with the yellow. And then you're gonna add some white to it. Okay, and it's the same concept as this purple one. We just wanna put a starting dot. Just right in between this blue plant, the blue finger plant and the circular one half circle with all little circles in it. Just put a dot right in between those. Now these ones aren't gonna be quite as long as this one. They're gonna be shorter and they're gonna be going in different angles. See how they're pointing in different angles? None of them are pointing straight up. They're all pointing either there, 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 there. So we wanna start at the dot, put some short lines, slightly smaller one, this is slightly longer, this one's shorter. Okay, and they're more spread out. It's almost like a clock. Tick, 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 all the way around. Okay, and then we got different size ones. These ones are all kind of the same size. These ones are, they've got one big one and then some smaller ones. So let's go to the one big one. It was that longer line we put, and it's pointing in this direction. So what we do is we just put a larger oval on the end of that one. Okay? See how the oval is larger? Then we'll put smaller ovals on these ones. Okay, then the same concept. We just come to the edge of the oval, zoom out the edge, and just bring it down to that center dot and fill it in. Just come over here, the edge of the oval, bring it down to the center dot, fill it in. Come to the other side of the oval, bring it down to the center dot, fill it in. So they're all emerging from the same area. Stick your brush in the water. You can stick your brush in the water. Probably want to have some more white in there. Just because it's looking a little transparent. Yeah. And we're going to add the darker colors also. But we want it nice and light so that it shows up real well. It's not quite so transparent. <laughs> it's okay. When we when we go over like adding the circles and the darks and the lights, the shapes will start coming together because that one is kind of squished all together. Yeah, you want to get some white in yours as well. See how you can see like almost all the details. Yeah, so just fill it in. Nope. <laughs> Right. It's a big plant, so it kind of goes over top of the blue one. Yep. 
you need more white. That's why it's having a hard time. So add some more white to that color and it won't be so transparent. Make sure you have enough white. If it's looking transparent, it means you need more white in there. Mm -hmm. Let's get our red brush when you're done. And let's just finish the shadows in our sea turtle. It should be dry by now. If you want to pick up yellow, a little brown, and this time we're going to add a little white. Yeah, <laughs> get your red brush. We're going to come back up to our sea turtle. So get yellow and brown. And like before, just the teeniest bit of green. And then we're going to add a li even a little bit of white. Just to make a lighter color than this shadow that we made, right? We added the white just to make it a little lighter. Okay, so we got yellow and brown, the tiniest, 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 emphasized tiniest bit of green, mix them together, and then we added a little white. Okay, now we wanna come up in here and we wanna look at this fin right here. So the biggest fin that curves back. We wanna come up on this side of it, so the left side. Just pull a little mark. And then you're going to come up to the brim of the turtle shell at an angle, see? So come up on the side of this fin towards the top. Just come up at an angle. And it touches the brim of the turtle shell, so the white border. Just came to the top and made a line just like that. Okay, and then all the brown areas on this side, I want you to fill in that lighter color. It's almost like there's two layers to our shadows. Now we're recreating the lighter layer of the shadow and we're keeping the darker one right there. So what we did is we got our lighter shadow color. We came to our biggest fin that's right in front towards the top on the left side. We just made a little line that kind of went at an angle towards the brim of the turtle shell. So we just started right here and we just made a line and then we filled in all the brown space that was over here, just that lighter color. Just slightly lighter. Okay, then we want to come over here on the other side of that same fin. We're coming on the right side now, and we're just going to make a line straight across. So we just made a line straight across, kind of aiming towards his armpit <laughs> of the other fin <laughs> and filling in that, that lighter color. Okay, now we want to come here, right where the head curves. We got that little curve, that little hood that we made for the head. We don't want to cover the whole thing, but we just want to cover a little part of it. We want to curve down just like that. We're kind of following the curve, but it's coming down to meet this lighter area that we created. Okay, then the part underneath his neck, 
underneath his head and his neck and also this fin over here, you're going to make that lighter color as well. Then you want to clean your brush. I want to finish our coral, then we're going to add all the little fun details to our turtle. So clean that red brush. You want to start with the purple coral. Let's finish that one. So pick up yellow. Sorry, not yellow. <laughs> red and blue and a little bit of white. Oh, this time don't add any white, so just red and blue. Red and blue, nice dark color. It'll be darker than this because we added white to it, but we're not adding any white this time. Okay. And the first thing we want to do is we want to create a little short one right here. It's just going to come right over the top of these long ones. So just like here when we made the little fingers in front, we're going to make a little short one in front. Okay, so the first thing we do is we want to make a line that's almost like an oval, but really it's just a line. So just make a line like that, however tall you want it to be. We just made purple. We added red with blue. We didn't add any white to it. Okay, just make a little thick line. Okay, then coming down, the right side, you're just going to make a line coming down on the right side. So you just came to the edge of the oval, you made a line coming all the way down. Okay, then you want to come to all your taller ones. And you want to put a line or an oval right in the center of them. So at the top, so it's not touching the top, leaves a little bit of that lighter color, but close to the top, just put a line. So it's in the center, it's not touching the ends and it's not touching the top. Okay, then we're gonna come down the same thing, we're gonna come down the right side of each of them. Some of them are going to go all the way to the bottom. See how this one's going to be in front? So I didn't go all the way to the bottom with this one. So it comes down and I'm creating an imaginary line right here. It's okay if you already came all the way down because we're going to put the lighter line on top of that so it'll cover it up. So on each of them, I'm just going to come down and put that darker color coming down. Okay. Now you can add a little bit of white. Just a little bit. And right next to it, you just want to put a slightly lighter line. It's like half on that dark line and half off that dark line. I had just the tiniest bit of white, still darker than the first color I made. And I just put a line half on top of that dark line coming down and half in the lighter area. Okay, so we had the dark line, and then I added just the tiniest bit of white, and I came half on top of the dark line and half into the lighter area, and just put a line on all of those. Mm -hmm. We did red and blue, and then we did the darker line, and then we added just the littlest bit of white, just to make a slightly lighter line. <laughs> okay, then you can add quite a bit more white. I'm going to make a super, super light color. So you added quite a bit more white to that. And you want to come here and around all the tops. You just want to put an outline all the way around that darker area. So 
We're just coming around the tops. Yeah, we're going around the tops. We're just circling all of those ovals that we put at the top of them. And don't forget the one right here, that little small one. Okay, so we went around all the tops of those with that lighter color. Okay, now do the small one first, all right? We're going to come on the left side, just coming down just like that. Okay, start with the small one first because you don't want any of these lines to come over top. Coming all the way down. Okay, then the same thing on the taller ones, just coming down the left side. Start at the top and just come down the left side. You just come to the top. Remember how we put a oval or a line at the top? We just went all the way around with a, we used the same purple. We just added a lot more white to it. Yep, just add a bunch of white to it. Okay, so we should have a light and a dark, and we should have the little flute-like areas. Okay, let me come around and make sure no one's struggling. Yep. Just like that. <laughs> and this thing pushes me off because there's a lot of You gotta have a lot of paint in your brush. See how it pulls all the brushes the bristles together? You don't got a lot of paint on there, so let's make a bunch. <laughs> Forget it. I'm not dealing with this brush. <laughs> you can grab another one from another seat. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, oil pastels. You have more control, but it's harder to blend. That's the only thing. Yeah, you get. Is that the name of your turtle? Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's add yeah, the lighter ones in the middle since you got kind of dark already. <laughs> nice. What does she like to paint? Well, she teaches art and humanities and uh, colleges and everything. So that's really cool. That's my mom. <laughs> Not me, that's my mom. <laughs> there we go. You're welcome. Wait, is that mine or yours? Okay, that's yours. This one's mine. <laughs> I don't know why I walk around with it. Huh? Yeah, done with the purple. Stick your brush in the water. Get it clean. Let's come to our orange coral. Let's just pick up some yellow and some white. Yep, yellow and white. So clean your brush, pick up yellow and white. And this time we're gonna do in the reverse order. So we're gonna get the tops of these. We're gonna make a nice big oval covering the whole thing. Yellow and white. Just a little yellow and a little white. So we haven't made a nice big oval like that. Then we'll put the darker part in the middle in a minute. Nice big oval on the top of each of those. Big enough for you to be able to put the shadow part in the middle of it. Okay, 
And we want to, this one, it's not a line. It's kind of got these blotchy little dots almost coming down the side. So we want to come down the left side. We just want to go little dot, little dot, little dot, little dot, coming down the left side all the way to the bottom. Just kind of dabbing. Coming down the left side, we got that nice light color. Okay, when you're done, clean your brush. So just dabbing, coming down all the way. Dab, 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 coming all the way down. your brush when you're done let's pick up some yellow and some red make an orange yellow and red make an orange okay and on the, on the opposite side you're just gonna dab coming down that way as well yellow and orange whoops <laughs> Wash your brush and start over. <laughs> yellow and orange. Sorry, yellow and red to make orange. <laughs> just tr I'm just trying to confuse everyone, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. And just come, just kind of dab, 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 coming down the opposite side. So on the right side, we're putting that. Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> Okay, once you've dab, dab, dab all the way down, you're going to add some brown to that. So you, can, you don't have to clean your brush, just add it to that orange you made. Add some brown. You're just going to come up here, you're just going to put a line right in the middle. You just added some brown to that. You just put a line right in the middle of that oval at the top. Okay, so now we got those fluted coral all done. Let's get our little blue brush. Let's get back to our turtle. Let's finish him up. Let's start with his eye. So we want to pick up some black. So get your little blue brush. Get some black on it. Let's look at his eye for a minute. It's not in the middle of its face. It's a little pushed towards the back, so closer to his shell. And the shape of his eye, it's not a circle. It's not an oval. It's like an almond shape. So the point is coming to the front. And it curves or sideways teardrop. teardrop. Okay? The point is going to be facing towards the front. All right? So it's a little bit towards the back. a teardrop sitting on its side so you can kind of round <laughs> yep fill it in a teardrop sitting on its side the point is facing to the end of his nose almost Sideways teardrop. Clean brush when you're done. 
Make sure everyone has an eye. We just added some brown to the orange, and we just, oh, you got it, you filled it in. Oh, okay. We're just doing the eye right now, okay. so it's going to be like about there. Just black? We're doing black, yeah. We'll add the highlights when it's dry, but we got to get the black on first. <laughs> Let me see if I can get you a better looking blue brush. This one's holding together a little better. See how the bristles are coming apart on that one? I mean, if you have a lot of paint, it'll kind of hold them together, but since you're concerned. <laughs> All right, you don't even have to clean your brush. Just pick up some brown, and whatever black is in your brush already, just mix it with that. So just make it a little darker brown. So we just, whatever black was already in the brush, we just mixed it with some brown. So now it's a darker brown. And around the eye, we're just going to put these little lines. So we got a little curve on the top, a little curve on the bottom. Almost like he's a little tired turtle. Okay, so everyone got a curve on the top and the bottom? Okay, then you want to give them a little mouth. It's just a straight line. You can curve it up just slightly at the end if you want, but it's pretty much just a straight line. Just start that at the tip where we made that little beak end. Comes kind of almost underneath the eye. Yeah, it comes pretty far. It comes like right underneath the eye. Just a little bit underneath that eye. It's got a long mouth. Okay, now we want to start adding his freckles. So the shape of his freckles, he's got little square freckles. Some of them are triangle shaped. Some of them are just little lines almost, just following the curve. So let's start with the ones on his head. He's got three on top of his head. One big one towards the front and two kind of curving back. Yep, a dark brown color. Okay, so we got one kind of in the front. So I just made a little square like that. I'm going to fill it in. Okay, we've got one right on top. One curving towards the back. Kind of these square freckle like things. Okay, then he's got a few just coming around his eye like that. See how just curve, curve, curve all the way around his eye, and a few going into his neck. So if you want, you can just make a little line and then you can kind of turn it into rectangle shape. See, I just make a little line. Make a little line, and I give it some thickness to make it a shape. And it curve around his eye, put a few in his neck. He's giving him some freckles, giving him some character. Okay, then we want to start putting some on his fins. This little fin doesn't have any. This fin at the back will have it on the left side. This big fin will also have it on the left side. The fin underneath his neck is going to have it on the right side. That's the only exception. So if you want, you can do that one first. So it's coming down the side. If you are still working on your head, so I'll wait for you. You're like, I know where to put them. <laughs> no, it's not. They're just freckles. <laughs> yeah, it just curves around his eyes. So you just like 
<laughs> it just curves around his eye. <laughs> it's just little brush strokes curving around his eye. You can make them a little thicker, a little more square like if you like. <laughs> Okay, then the fin that's right underneath his neck. You want to put it going along the left side. So just on the left side. Just traveling down. Just put a little stroke to you. Eep, 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 going all the way down. Okay, then leave the smallest fin alone. Then you got these two fins, and it's going to be on the On the left side of these, okay? And you're going to follow the curve of the fin, so it's going to come down, 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 curve right there, come this way. I just travel down the right side. See how I just made a little stroke, little stroke, little stroke? No, I did the same color. It's just brown and black. Okay, so I'm going to travel down the left side. Kind of putting some strokes. See how I curved right there when I got to the corner? Okay, then I'm going to add a few more. Put a second row, maybe. Then put some messy ones on the end. Just following the curve. Of that fin. Same thing for the fin, all the way at the edge here. Just following the shape of the fin. And the left side. It's got those little freckles. Yep, almost done. Got Three more steps. We're going to add the color to his shell. We're going to add a few lines. And then we're going to add the highlight in his eye. Okay, everyone got their freckles? No, not yet. <laughs> it's like my turtle doesn't want freckles. <laughs> You want a clean brush, so when you're done, make sure your brush is clean. We're going to use a little blue brush again. Okay, we want to get some yellow and some green. This one tends to have more green in it, so make it darker, but it still has some yellow. So get some yellow and green. We're going to come up in the turtle shell. And all these little pockets we're going to fill with different shades of yellow and green. So the first part, we're going to come to the bottom of each of those shapes, kind of towards, you know, the left side. And we're going to start making these little dabs. So get yellow and green with the little blue brush. We're going to come up to the turtle. And all these shapes that he has in his back, those are going to be our pockets for our colors to sit. So we want to put the darker color sitting at the left side towards the bottom. And we just want to dab. Just dab, 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 dab. Towards the bottom. See how we did that first shape? Towards the bottom, to the left. Okay, and then come to the next shape, do the same thing. Towards the bottom, to the left, is the green area of that shape. So stay in the green. So each of those shapes, towards the bottom, left side. Just want to dab some of that darker color. Do 
is dab, dab, dab. I kind of creep up to the middle of the shape, but they're a lot more spread out. So they're concentrated towards the left bottom, and then I fit a few dabs coming towards the center. Okay, everyone got a darker area? Give everyone a minute. We're on the home stretch. We're on the home stretch. <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> oh no. Is it dry? Yeah. Okay. And we'll just remix the color. Here's good. I just need a little space. A little darker. <laughs> this is why you asked me to do it, right? <laughs> and just kind of spread out the color. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's some blues in it. That's why I can't get it right. Yep. Add a little bit of blue in it. How's that? Oh, barely yeah, noticed. Kind of oh, it's okay. I already got some a collection of paint on my jeans. <laughs> I already have a collection of paint on my jeans. All right, let's make the lighter color. We're just going to add more yellow, and we're going to add a little bit of white as well. So don't add it to your whole pile of paint. You can just add it to a little corner. See how I had that? Just add to a little corner and add some white and some more yellow. Yep. Yep, to the green. Don't add it to the whole pile, just add it to the corner of the pile. Okay, and then on the tops of all those shapes, towards the right, I'm just gonna dab, dab, dab. We just added yellow and a little bit of white to that green. And we just want to dab, dab, dab till you can't dab no more. So dab towards the top right corner, and then you can put a few dabs right in the middle, just kind of mixing with that darker one. Okay. Everyone got a lighter color, the top part of all those shapes. All right. Clean your brush. Everyone ready? You guys need a few more minutes. Ready? OK. Clean your brush. I'm going to pick up just straight white. We're going to come up here. Just put a little, two little dots. One of them's to the left top corner. The left top corner, just put a little dot for his, in his eye. And then the bottom right corner. Just put a little dot. That's the shine in his eye. Makes him look so cute. OK, 
Okay, then you can take, add a little bit of yellow to that white. And you can come on the brim of a shell and just add a little bit of that. You don't have to cover the whole thing, but just kind of, you know, brush it on nice and soft. Maybe add a little bit to his face. Just in a few places that you want it lighter. So I wanted to lighten up the brim of the shell just a little. So I didn't have a lot of paint in the brush, but I just kind of spread as much as I could on there. Added a little bit to his face, give him a little highlight. Okay, then you're just going to take brown. You don't have to clean your brush. Just make sure you got a lot of brown in it. And we're just going to come around and we're going to start outlining all the parts of the turtle except for the green parts. So all the brown and yellow parts. So we want to start creating his neck. That's the main area. Everywhere else is just optional. You want to come right underneath his head. Okay, we're just following that line. Just following right underneath his head. Then come into the body, and you're going to come all the way down to this flin right here. Right after the eye, I just picked up some brown. Yep, and we're just going to outline a few areas in our sea turtle, and then we'll be done. Whatever was in my brush. I just wanted it mostly brown. Okay, so I just came up the bottom of his head. I curved in to kind of create a little bit of a neck here. Remember, his neck was in the shell part. We were like, oh, he has no neck. Now he's got a neck. We just came down here. And when we got to the darker part of the shadow, then we just came down and met it right there where our big fin is, our big flipper. Okay, then when we want to start at the top, right where the head and the shell meet. And we just want to bring a few curved lines down. Almost like these are the wrinkles in his neck. We just kind of curve down to that line. Okay, then we want to come right here, and we want to, right where the big fin is, where we're going to be outlining the shell, we want to start that line. See how we come up to right where the fin is? See how we come up right where the fin is, the little fin that's underneath the neck? We just want to go over that. So it's almost like we're continuing the line. We start here, move all the way up to where his neck is. That kind of pushes this fin to the back. This is on the other side of the turtle. Okay, and then we want to do the top part of his head. And then we can go all the way around each of the fins and then also the rim of the seashell, this sea turtle shell. I'm going to go all the way around that. Around the bottom part of the shell. Around each flipper, just with that brown color. Just kind of outlining it, all the details can be seen. Following the curve of the flippers, nice rounded front flippers, pointed back flippers. I'll let you outline your trees and we got 
one more thing in the coral, and then psh, we're done. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I gave up. <laughs> You want me to help you finish? <laughs> you can't go home with an unfinished painting. It's okay. I paint faster. I know. Cheater. It's okay. Some people, they're just like, I just get so tired. Right. I'm done. <laughs> It's okay, it always depends on your day as well. You're like, today was a really long day. Yeah. Can't do this right now. Well, I think it's the creativity. There's still Aww. a lot there. I have no room. <laughs> you did really well for lack of creativity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should be so down on yourself. like sea turtles? Actually, they're my favorite. <laughs> oh my that's goodness, then you must finish. <laughs> I know. I've, that's actually my dream with them. We've been to North Carolina and saved sea turtles. Oh my goodness. I, I used to and live. And then I gave up on the turtle. The best part is, you know what happened to me? This oh. happened to me. I was like, okay, I gotta make <laughs> Once all of that yeah. cold. Yeah. There's a lot of detail in this painting. Yeah. It always takes longer than I think it's going yeah. to. Like what? Le <laughs> yeah, certain steps <laughs> always catch people. Can you say the green, just the daughter green again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially with this one, because everyone's like, I want to get the details just right. Can you repeat that? Yeah, I know. Let me come back to that. I'm going to show them the last step. Okay. Clean your brush, last step, last step. Then you can sign your name. Oops, took away my paint. Okay, you just want to pick up some white. And right here in this round, our round coral right here, you're going to go and you're going to go on the left side of each of those O's and you're just going to put white line. Okay, just following the curve. Not all the way around. Just on the left side. This gives it a little bit of a pop. Just all those ovals and all those circles just come on the left side and curve around. So not all the way around, just on the left side. Then you can go ahead and sign your name. And you will be done. Yes. Should be what? I just added a little bit of white. Nothing. <laughs> I just took white. So I just had very little white in the brush. I just kind of moved it around. Yeah, so I just spread it a little thin, and I add a little to his face. Yep. Yep. We must finish. We must finish. Everyone sign their name. Use the little blue brush and use any color that will show up. White might be a good play. Might be a good color. You want to sign it right in the right uh, corner, bottom. Most artists sign there, but it's not a big deal if you choose somewhere else. Need some more white. <laughs> you can take it home and do a sharpie. I don't have one on me. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people actually ask that. You're like, I'm done painting. I need a Sharpie. <laughs> this is a lot of hard work. I am done. <laughs> Can we break out the crayons? I know. Let's go back to kindergarten, you know. <laughs> is that your art signature? Your, yeah, initials. Your R into your A? <laughs> Does it say artie? 
Let's take a group picture together. Everyone grab your painting as soon as you're done. And let's, where should we stand? Let's stand right there in front of uh, the ice and the wine glasses. And we'll take a big group picture together. Um, we just put the highlight in the eye. Okay, I did. Um, we added a little bit right here to the rim. We had very little in our brush. We got most of it out, and we just went, just dusted it on a little. <laughs> Grab your paintings. Come in front of the ice, and then I will know we're ready to take a picture. Some people do initials. Some people sign their whole name. Some people just. Make a picture. <laughs> yeah, with like how many letters yeah. do you have in your name? Like twenty. Even if I sign it, I always think I'm missing a letter. <laughs> no problem. Artists sign it different ways. Some sign it just with a picture. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. With a smiley, smiley face. face. Yeah, exactly. Halfway grin. <laughs> like, well, tried it. <laughs> <laughs> Best I could do. Right. I get better next time. <laughs> no problem. Let's take a group picture. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna take it with my phone. I can take it with anyone else's phone as well. If you want me to take a picture, put your phone here. Then I'll take it for you. Ta -da. Yeah, we're gonna probably gonna have to do two rows, so. Oops. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'll try to do yours as soon as I get this one in. All right, we need two rows, so a couple people in the front. Let's get everyone in there. Everyone can see their sea turtle. Come on, guys, come on. Come in, come in. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to squeeze in. So I gotta have like two more people down in the front right here. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have to squeeze. Can everyone squeeze? Maybe some people hold theirs up and yeah, so we can squeeze a little tighter. Perfect. Okay. Almost all in. Okay. I think. Okay. I think I got everyone. <laughs> Don't cover your face though. <laughs> Come on. Put it down. All right. Perfect. Okay, two more cameras. Oh, three more. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh. Exactly. Facebook friends, you know. Like, if we weren't Facebook friends before, now we are. Sea turtle friends. <laughs> sea turtles forever. Okay. Sorry, that one was. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> It's like, it's going, it's going. One more. Awesome. Oh, I can breathe again. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Is there anything anyone wants me to help them with? They're like, I really don't like this part. Can you help me with it? Let's do it, let's do it. Where are you sitting? Where are you sitting? No. <laughs> Paint it over right now. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>